Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Skyhook. This is the Soviet Union's turn and you can see Moscow has been taken. I was a bad boy and I didn't defend it as much as I thought I had. And uh, Hambone made a brilliant move and did, did a wonderful job taking, taking all my money from me. Ah, alas, it's all good. It's only a war, right? So obviously we need to take that back. And I, I hope this is all gonna be in one video. There's a lot to be done here. My son's just waking up. I might have to go check on him, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what, whatever. Do the best I can and we'll go from there. Um, thought it was gonna be a simple video. Well, there's not much I can do now, but there's actually a lot, especially reading through the, um, the elite of the Soviet Union expansion. So that being said, Let's have some fun, shall we? So, um, currently right now, Moscow is occupied by the Wehrmacht and they got an elite SS unit out of that, or the medium armor. So good for them, good for them. Um, but I'm gonna take that out as best I can. This game, we gotta make sure we take Moscow back. But I also wanna declare a new capital away from all the hubbub, and that'll be Novosibirsk. Away from hopefully anything that the Germans can throw at us or any member for that matter, but of course we'll see. So nonetheless, let's dive in here, right? Now, I'm down to four major factories. I still believe I get to roll for my tech rolls. So let's do that right now. And forgive the disorganization, but a lot has been going on. So up here, let's do improved factories and improved construction. See about those two. Improve factories. I could have picked a better dice, but that's an eight, so that's good. Improved factories is up one. Improved construction. Niente. Uh, heavy armor, eight or more. Oh, look at that. We got a nine. Nice. Too bad I couldn't build it, but it is what it is. And last but not least, we're going to go for heavy bombers. And that is also a, well, a 9 we'll need. Oh, well, look at that. We got a 12. Perfect. Heavy Bombers is on the board. Well, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So that is where, sorry guys, our completion level has arrived for some of that stuff. So what do we do here? Well, I'm trying to think the best way to film some of this stuff, but let's just dive right in. I had to get um, some corrections from Hambone, and uh, consequently, well, um, all of those were done successfully, so that was good. Um, <sighs> what to do now? What to do now? Well, I'm going to be moving one of my major factories um, from Oral Kursk. Now, I believe this is in my combat phase. So now, I put all these damage rail markers here, but I think I gotta keep these here for now um, because I can't damage them in my non-combat movements. So from here, oh, actually I just realized that, through Moscow, that's not occupied. So through Moscow, yes, so we can, that's our route there. From Oral Curse, we're gonna be moving this major factory in our combat phase. Actually, can we even do that? Actually, I think we're cut off. No, nope, sorry, we can go around Western Russia here. Yep. Um, or actually, no, we can't. We don't actually have a, oh wait. No, we do, sorry. Just, it, it screw things up here because I wanted to destroy some of these rail factories, but I also wanna get that major factory out of Oral Kursk just for now because I feel that's a, a very viable target. So we can rail it. Well, can we even do that? You know what? If you follow the factory lines, we can't even do that. Uh, too much fun. Just, yeah, there you go. Guess that factory's staying there because it can't even go to Moscow. So yeah. Well, then you know what? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to leave that major factory there and just continue with our damaging of our rail systems and make it as tough for the Russians as possible. Within reason, of course. And be tough for us too, but at the same token, 
we want to. So just, just for clarification, starting down here, Transcaucasia, um, Northern Caucasia, uh, this territory just above that, Stalingrad, Sartov, Western Russia, Leningrad, Northern Russia, I had one there, or Northern Belarus, I should say, Smolensk, Southern Belarus, um, and uh, this territory here, Oral Kursk, Don, oh, actually, so we don't have Don Machi, that's not our territory right now. Um, so yeah, so that's our territories right now. Even the rail going into Sevastopol is also going to be taken out. So um, that's where our damages are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's uh, that's what we're doing there. Um, yeah, super unfortunate about that major factor, but that's okay. Now let's carry on, guys, and let's not ramble on too long. I have some my attack moves here all kind of declared out, but. Because of the order of the red banner and the guards units here, I'm gonna to try to make this as best as possible. But our declared attacks are going to be here from Karelia to Southern Finland, to Lapland, to Murmansk, to Karelia. Let's try to clean up the rest of this stuff up in the north um, and go from there. Um, we have infantry coming in here from Western Russia. Uh, these POT bombers from Leningrad are coming into this attack. Same with this jet fighter, and there's a reason why, and I'll get to that. Now we have four units here, two, um, two Kafushas, a tank destroyer, and uh, the lovely um, advanced self-propelled artillery. But on top of that, we also have a guards tank, two guards motorized, an infantry, all joining in on this battle too. So basically everything in the seventh is coming in to attack. Let's deck the halls around there. So we have that is an attack, I guess, which would be our fifth attack. We also have an airborne assault. Yeah. yeah it sucks not having much aircraft here. Um, we also have an airborne assault here, and I think what we'll do is we'll move this guy here. We for, we'll forget about Tortuda and go into here. Two airborne Five cavalry from Transcaucasia, two airborne planes um, pincering in here with their airborne. Uh, we're also going to carpet bomb with that. And I hate to weaken areas, but there's not much we can really do. Um, yeah. Because yeah, there's, um, yeah, there's four units in there. I think for safety's sake, we're going to bring in our jet fighter, which we believe we can make it. Leningrad, one, two, three. Oh yeah, not a problem. We got lots of space <sighs> to really cut that back as well. Um, yeah, it's just it's tough having some limited stuff on the board. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, th those are my attack movements. Basically, I think we should have six attack movements all together. I don't know if I'm missing anything here. Um, and then we'll just have to play it by ear and see if we're victorious because the, uh, the Russians are on the defensive big time, especially with no money. So it is what it is though. Um, and then the rest are going to be non-combat movements. And I think that's everything. Uh, just minor note here in, uh, in, uh, Smolensk, we are going to torch this factory and torch this airfield. That's where the 3d printed pieces are nice. That's also in my combat phase. And we destroyed the rail system there. It's actually kind of fun to, just to destroy your own stuff here. <laughs> uh, too much fun. Actually, you know what? We're gonna torch this, uh, this major factory. Since we can't move it anywhere, uh, and we're not gonna let the Russians or the uh, Germans have it, so. Uh, I think that's it for now. We'll have to see, and we'll have to play it by ear. But, uh, but yeah, look at, just out of curiosity, guys, See what's in Eastern Ukraine there? That's the second army. That's what's coming. Jet fighters, um, medium bombers, regular fighters, tactical, and a whole lot of ground units. So the, the Wehrmacht is on the move. Okay, so let's do some dice rolling, shall we? Now we're gonna go into uh, Southern Finland. We have a guards tank and an advanced artillery. 
So um, our light armor goes up to one. So this yellow will be a five and this purple will be also has a first strike. It'll be attacking at a four. Misses and he has one militia there in defense. And that's a miss. We'll roll again. No first strike this time. Misses again. Oh god. It's probably dice changing time. And a miss on the militia. Uh, misses again, I think. Was the light army yellow? No, I don't think so. Okay, militia. Oh god, he got a hit. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're taking the artillery off, and then we get the light armor. Miss. Militia. Miss. Light armor miss. Militia. Light armor. Miss. Oh my god. Here we go. Four. Thank Christ. Eight. Well, it's going to be a long battle, guys. Okay, let's do her again. Miss. That's a very cocked dice. We'll do that again for them. And that's a miss. Let's just change this dice here. We need five or less. Oh, God. Militia. Oh, getting close. There we go. Finally got a hit in his response. Oh, miss. That was a long, drawn-out battle. Okay, guys. Let's just back this up so you guys don't get too dizzy. So, southern Finland is now under Soviet control, and we have lost our advanced artillery. And now the one guards unit takes that over. So, while we're doing this, so I don't forget, I'm sorry for all the camera movements, just because there's a lot to be done here. This unit gets to not only be a guards, but Order of the Red Banner gets promoted right there because Helsinki is a red city. Okay, now moving on further north, we have a motorized, which is a walk-on into Lapland. Okay, and I believe they don't get any promotion for that. So let's just move two bucks up for the Russians, if this is correct. I'm just going by what Hambone had from last time and I haven't changed it. So we're gonna go down to, I think, 86 or 85, and 41 for the Soviets. Now let's do these two attacks here. Advanced mechanized and an infantry against a Kafusha and a medium armor. So, let's just do it this way. So we are attacking with the Kafusha, which I believe attacks at a five. And we have a medium armor, which attacks at a six. And then we have the advanced artillery, or advanced mechanized, I should say, which defends at a five. And we have an infantry. And I don't think that's marsh territory up there in Kola. No, I don't think it is. And so we have our infantry at four. And there we go, guys. Uh, Confucia does get first strike. So actually, I should roll that first to just verify. That's a nine, so that's a miss. And we'll roll the rest. And what do we got here? Misses all around for everybody. Now we can just roll all the dice together. Um... Misses again. Because I don't think there's any defensive areas here. Okay, so white, no, that's uh, red got a hit and I got a hit. So one and one. So I'm assuming they're probably going to take off their that and that. So their infantry. And I'm going to take off my Confucius, sadly. So now it's just orange and red. One on one. Kind of cocked for both, but ah, good enough. And a uh, victory, we got him. 
orange is six and he got a seven so that is it so that is good because Murmansk is also a red city and they will get two promotions I believe if I've read these wrong and you guys can uh, definitely help me out here but I think they can receive both they can get a guards promotion for taking back Soviet home territory. And they also get the Order of the Red Banner because it's Murmansk as well. So that is a good thing um, for, the, uh, for the Soviets. And that's also another one. I'll have to add this up and check later just to make sure I actually get an income. <laughs> uh, so funny, so funny. Okay, so now we've got a Confucian medium armor, an artillery, and infantry, so all three of these units are going into Karelia. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Um, we are just going to make it easy on ourselves. We're going to roll our medium armor. Actually, no, we can roll our Confucia and our artillery. That's what we should do. Okay, so the artillery, advanced artillery attacks at a four. Confucia attacks at a five. Five will be the orange, artillery will be the red. Nope. Medium armor, miss, and infantry attacks at a two. Miss, okay. And uh, he gets a defensive roll at four. And that's a miss. Okay, now we'll do the same thing again. We'll do advanced artillery is red, Confucia, orange. Nope. Medium armor, hit, that's all we need. And his defensive roll, uh, he gets a hit. So, I'm actually going to take it on the advanced artillery and I'll tell you why. If I'm taking back this Soviet home territory, I can promote one to a guards, uh, two actually, but one has to be infantry class. So, um, Bear with me here, I apologize, guys. So this infantry becomes a guard. Oh, actually, let's just do it this way. That's where these rings are quite nice for this reason. And we're gonna promote this medium armor to a guard as well. And I think that's it, because it's not a red city and the Confucius does not get. I can do a max of two if I read the instructions right. So that's good. So now we have a medium armor guards and an infantry at guards. I'll have to double check the order of the red banner again, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it captures re includes certain cities as part of a force that captures a land zone that contains a fortification. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Yeah, no, I think. I think I'm pretty accurate on that, I hope anyways. So, that's another promotion. And the USSR goes up two, and the Germans go down another two. So we've cleaned up that area up there quite handily, and wiped out the remnants of Army Group North. Now let's go south. Let's go to the big battle of Moscow. So everything in the seventh um, is attacking in there. Uh, which we can actually see on the screen right there. So, I kind of want to do this in order. Confucius and Advanced Artillery get first. Now, the city is not surrounded, so that's one thing. Now, here's the thing. If I attack down... Well, no, it doesn't matter because the, uh, they can be reinforced by the airport. So, never mind. So, um, all the units in the city, um, I believe, go up one. Um, and I don't know if there's any penalties that I'm incurring. It doesn't look like there's any Riverside there. So hopefully I'm going to do this battle correct. And we're going to bring this over here. We are going to roll our PO2 bombers. Um, now there's two guards ones, which attack, I think, at, with an extra one. Um, actually, we should really roll our advanced artillery. So let's roll the Confucius. Five. Five or less. One hit. That's one auto kill. And then the advanced self-propelled artillery. 
which is a miss. Okay. So we do have one kill. I'm assuming they're probably going to take it on the airborne with the Confucius there. So now there's two units left. So let's do air power, the POT bombers. The orange will be guards, the red will be regular. And we actually got one hit there, so that's nice. So we're looking, now we're gonna bring in, um, I guess it doesn't really matter which ones we do. We'll do the tank destroyer, which is a miss. We'll do the two motorized infantry. And that's a hit, so we got one more, and let's just keep rolling for good measure. Um, sorry, I rolled up, but I was going to say that was going to be the uh, medium armor, light medium armor. Guards, light medium armor, so that's well over that. And I think we got three or four cavalry. Let's get some cavalry there, and look at that. More hits. So, so lots of hits. We got enough hits to wipe that out. Now they're defensive rolls. One airborne, defending in a city. Um... Should be three. That's a miss. And then one uh, elite medium armor. So that should be defending at a seven, I believe. No, sorry, six. Defends at a five. And that is a hit. We got a one. Got a one. So I'm going to be taking off. I don't want to take anything off. I'll take off a cavalry. Yeah. So, Moscow is taken back. And I believe my capital is still Novosibirsk. Um, you guys can tell me in the comments if it changes, but I would uh, like to keep it that way. Which means we go up four more to 48, and the Germans go down four more, which is a little bit more respectable. Uh, now, my question is, or not my question is, why did they do it that way? Well, as per, and I, I kind of want to show this to you guys, as per guards rules, um, I can promote right here. Let's read this one. For each Soviet, oh, sorry for the glare guys, but anyways, for each Soviet home country land zone recaptured by the USSR for the enemy player and each original blah, 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 um, by capturing the USSR. the USSR may promote two of its participating land units to guard division status. One of these units must be an infantry class, which we know, and if the recapturing home country land zone is a city, then the semicircle, which it is, promote one participating infantry class unit to guards division status and place one guards militia in this recaptured city at no cost. So that's interesting, right? So that means... I will get a free guards militia and I'm sorry, we'll take this guy out here. Now I don't have the only infantry class units I have are this one guy. So he's going to get promoted to guards regardless. If I had more would have been a different story. So he's going to be promoted to guards. And then um, I get to promote one of my regular units to a guards. Um, that's that's uh, we're gonna promote the tank destroyer Actually, no, we're gonna promote the Confucia to a guards. That's what we're gonna do And that's it except it's not We're just gonna go here because I want you guys to follow along with me Order of the red banner Just in the wording here um, besides the guards promotion, land units, including guards, also can be awarded the Order of the Red Banner. The Order of the Red Banner is awarded to USSR land units with an attack value that are part of the force that captures a red city, right? Um, and of course, to an air unit, um, it doesn't really work. And actually, I thought it did, so that, that's actually my bad. Um, I was hoping that I could promote those PO2 bombers, but it's only land units. So that means every land unit here which included the cavalry, all of these are all going to be promoted to Order of the Red Banner status, which is a lot of rings for these, so just keep that in mind. This is where these expansions can get very congested. 
but it's fun to play them. Show them here on the format, guys, so you guys can all can enjoy um, this wonderful setup. So um, all these units here are gonna be Order of the Red Banner, two motorized, a light um, armor, two cavalry, two Confucius, tank destroyer, advanced self-propelled artillery, uh, and uh, even the infantry attacking that got promoted to guards will also be Order of the Red Banner. As far as I read it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, because there's no cap on the amount of units. It just says that our attacking value, right? So that's good. That's really good for Russia. I hope <laughs> we need some good news. Okay, so now let's do this battle here. We're gonna do the carpet bombing first. There's no scrambling, there's no air base where the troops are in Eastern Russia. I'm not even sure if it's connected. But they have a Panzer Grenadier, two cavalry, elite cavalry, and an and a elite mech. So let's just set this up on the board and do a little bit better so we can actually see what's going on. So the cavalry defending there will be defending at a three. And then we have the elite mech, which is basically defending at a four, so now it's up to a five. And then we got the Panzer Grenadier, which is, uh, I think it's also going to be defending at a five. It doesn't really say it on here. So that's, that's where we're at there for that. And then we have our attacking units. We got our carpet bomb, which we'll do first. Actually, we'll just get that out of the way. Got three dice, two or less. And those are all misses, so that's done. Shucks, but all good. We have our jet fighter that attacks at an eight. So we got that. Um, and what else am I attacking here with? How many cavalry? I'm bringing in, I think, four cavalry. Yeah, four cavalry, two airborne. I think that's all I could muster, which is not the greatest odds. Oh, that's right. I was going to... Uh, Yes, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, that's all I can really attack. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Four cavalry. Which, uh, we're attacking at a three. Which is actually not bad for four cavalry. Because I don't think there's any modifiers there. Just want to double check if it's a mountain territory. I think it's part of the plains. Oh, there is a river, I think. Yes, there is a river. Airborne's not affected, but the cavalry will be. So for the first round, the cavalry will be down to two. Good thing I checked, good thing I checked. And then we got our airborne, which will be doing an attack at three. So. Uh, and there's no first strikes of any kind. I think that's it. Yeah. Well, we got a hit on the jet fighter. Ooh, we got a hit on the cavalry, but that's about it, I would say. So two hits on their end, and what do they have in store for us? We have, looks like there's zero hits. Nope, wait, there is one hit. I think they're advanced hit. Got this one hit. Okay, so I'm gonna take that on the airborne. I'm gonna take one airborne off. The airborne now go down to a two. The cavalry get bumped up to a three. Um, and I didn't know what he wanted for order of casualties, but I think he'll take off one of the advanced cavalry. And that should be it. And we'll roll her again. Miss with the jet fighter. We do have a hit with one of the cavalries. This dice is really cocked in between the two of them. I'll just re-roll it. Well, hopefully that's legit. That is a hit. Um, feel bad about that. It's always easier when it doesn't get a hit, but whatever. Um, so, so that's two hits on them, and then they get the retaliatory strike. Uh, and they got... One hit. One hit again for that mech. So I'm going to take off my other airborne. And I'm assuming... He, also, he got two hits. So I'm going to say he's probably going to keep his Panzer Grenadier last. 
So that's what we'll do for that. Um, and we'll take those dice off. So now we're attacking with a jet fighter and four cavalry. And we got one hit. That's all we need with this one cavalry. And this Panzer Grenadier is a six, and I don't believe it is a six. I think it is a five at best, because it's basically advanced mechanized right here. So victory for the Soviets down here. Um, now this plane, I want to take it somewhere safe, but there is nowhere <laughs> place safe. He's going to come into Stalingrad. Um, this, uh, well, for now, anyways, these transports will land here in Stalingrad. So Don Manchi, which is worth one, goes back to Russian control. And like I say, hopefully I did everything correct there, guys. Sorry for the mistakes in my last video. It is what it is. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, wait, sorry, that was not Don Machi. We were attacking the Donuts. Yes. Oh, didn't realize there were two spaces there. Damn. Uh, yes, because the Panzer Grenadier is here. And that's right. Well, I gave him some free rolls, I guess, on that one. But you know what? Such is war. I'm not going to profit from my mistakes. I'm going to put that Panzer Grenadier back. Whatever I did with it. Sorry. Yeah, I thought it was just all one giant territory. But once again, it doesn't make a difference. Um, I just will accept those losses. Uh, carpet bombing was failed anyways. The jet fighter will probably land here in Stalingrad. I'm just going to zoom out here just for now. I might change that. But so this is back into Russian territory. Oh, let's just set this down here so I'm not wobbling around, guys. Oh, sorry. Oh. Now, I can only promote one of those cavalry to guards because they're taking back one of the territories. I think I have. So one of those cavalry becomes a guard. And we'll take this off. And we're about to fall over and take everything with it. Okay. There we go. So, yes, bummer about that. Should have, should have realized that, but that's that's okay. Now, if they want to airborne or attack Stalingrad, they can. Uh, Moscow now is going to be here. Now these POT bombers cannot go there, so their range from an air base and their movement is limited. They can only move three, but I believe it's four with an air base. Oh, sorry, movement to the POT guards. I believe you can go one more, but three. So regardless, though, one, two, three. They're going to land probably in... Let's land them in northern Russia. Might not be the smartest move. But I think for the units that he have, and if I'm correct, um, there's limited places he can attack to. Yeah, I think, I think we'll do that. He can always do an airborne attack or assault on those bombers and try to wipe them out, which is good. It might buy more time for Stalingrad. So that's where these will stay. So yeah, I think, I think that's pretty good, guys. We'll do our non-combat movements. So there's nothing now in Smolensk. Unfortunately, I can't reinforce it, whatever. It's an open city, you can take it. I hate doing that, but I don't know what else to do in this situation. Um, can't rail too many units. Um, we're gonna non-combat, we're gonna abandon uh, down here and move our cavalry back. Actually, our cavalry can move, this one can move one, two, into Northern Caucasia. Um, yeah, 
a lot of territory here that needs to be defended, but not too much we can really do about it. So yeah, the cavalry in Azerbaijan is coming up to Transcaucasia. The one cavalry in Kars is coming up to Northern Caucasia. Uh, did I use any of my rail movements? I don't think I did. So I'm gonna use two of my rail movements and take the last remnants of troops. Uh, yeah, Japan is in no, no order to attack me, so we'll see what they can do. Uh, but for now, for now, for now, for now, just to be on the safe side, we're going to bring one infantry to the new capital. I'm pretty sure he has no range to get me, but I was wrong before with Moscow. Um, and... Uh, and all these units are in here, and then we're gonna bring one infantry into Gorky, rail them up here into Gorky. <sighs> and will that fate decide what happens next? <laughs> uh, I do have wartime economy, so I'm gonna roll that. At least I should have, I hope. I hope, I hope. And I need some D6s. Let's go for communist red. Roll them right here. Six, nine, well, that's better than, better than nothing. So if this income is correct, 48, which I'm just gonna roll with it, we're back to 57. I have three cities in my possession, so I should get 60 bucks now uh, for Leningrad, Stalingrad, and so on and so forth. Now, Stalingrad, there's not much I can really do about there. They got the fortification. Yep, that's all I can do. Okay. So, R Russia's turn again, or Russia's turn is over. Uh, we got 60 bucks in total, if that's correct. Once again, I'll double check that before, the, before it's over. 50, 60, $60. CCP. Down here. We're attacking Nanking, or Peking, I should say, with a mountain and an artillery going into a city. Could be a really good battle, might be a really shitty battle. Who knows? The artillery is attacking at a three. And uh, the mountain as well is attacking at a two. And his infantry defends at a five in a city, I believe. Now, is Peking a mountainous city? Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. So it's kind of a hail mary battle, but we'll see. I just got to keep pace with the uh, with the um, so yeah, infantry or sorry, mountain I should say, mountain and the artillery. Now the artillery does get first strike, so let's just hope. We get some luck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right? Not a mountain. Regular artillery three. Yeah. Well, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. So there's no defensive roll. If for some reason I messed up, I'll just roll a defensive roll. But it's a miss anyways. I'm just infantry. Yeah, so it's missed. So the communists liberate the first city of China. And that is Peking. And that goes up $2. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to say, <laughs> say that in that context, but uh, you guys know what I mean. I'm just gonna grab a, a marker and there we go. Peking is now under communist rule. At least that's one good thing for the Soviets. We're moving this guy up here, this artillery up to Suyang. And just in case the Americans decide to take advantage of that situation, Next, we got to move the CCP up. So they're at three, so they're at five now, five collected income. We also get a bonus. Now we built an artillery. So five, five bucks, seven, seven to that will be a total of eight. God almighty, that's a lot of money. And we get our recruitment roll. I'm gonna put the artillery down in, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put him down in Suyang. Well, I don't know what the KMT are gonna do. 
we'll put him down in uh, Shishuan. And a recruitment roll. Now, how many territories do we have? One, two, three, four. Nope, sorry, that's KMT now, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we got a five. Nice. So, what do we want to build then? Infantry? Yes, let's do an infantry. We will build an infantry. I would say some militia to defend is not a horrible thing, but also if we're going to go on the offensive, an infantry is not a bad, a bad thing, or also just defending it in general. Um, so yes, we're going to put this infantry in Shenzi. Yes. Put our infantry in Shenzi, and then we are going to put a KMT marker just because I missed that. So the KMT and the CCP are pretty balanced. I mean, not necessarily balanced, but probably for land units and everything else, even though a lot of mine are militia, you know, I think we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, but could be a lot better. So uh, I know Mark didn't want me to attack Japan. And I said, you know, I wouldn't, but if, if, if it gets really bad, well, then the KMT, I got to keep pace with them. So, of course, now the KMT has a jet fighter, too. Lucky buggers. Okay, guys, Panzer King in the Lion's Den signing off. Slap my hand if I made any mistakes. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys later.